boom right at the time of the walkouts i'm in how's everybody doing much love no i was not gonna miss the fight bro come on you're fading the frenchman i think the frenchman can win this guys i'm curious how many of you have uh some big parlays on the card let me know what you guys got let's go baby salvador is 67 percent of the people's picks i owe you a rip not yet not yet how you guys doing hope everybody's doing pretty well i'm doing good even though i'm in florida and there is uh supposed to be a hurricane it looks like it's not going my direction you parlayed all my picks the bob you're a menace to society you got balls bob's got balls aj we need to collab with ufc gambling addicts you know years ago me and gambling addicts would actually talk on instagram from time to time and i asked about a collab bro but it never came to fruition hey what's up tira tupaku shout out to everybody yanni's voice yanni the greek i think i think the bet on the line is gonna be oki i'm going the underdog I think that with uh, Yanni on the other side of me, my confidence will shoot up. But who did you, who did Yanni pick? I don't know. Oki Balaji. What's up? What's up? What's up? You took an opposite pick parlay from me. You actually believe that I'm not going to hit one pick on the card? Fuck right off with that shit. Oki Balaji. Okay. What's up? What's up? What's up? I hate Yanni's voice, but that's a beautiful impression. Thank you, Justin Mac. Thank you, Justin Mac. That means a lot. How you guys doing? We should have a GA meeting. What would a GA meeting be? They're betting exactly. Cam knows what's up. Most confident play, that fucking minus 400 heavyweight, to be honest. I mean, that would be the most confident, just to be straight up. I think Prates wins in the main. I have uh, Salvador in this one here. Take the hat off? No. No, 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 no. I don't take the hat off. Listen, bro. I shower with this hat. No, I'm not taking off Oki wins. It's not even a big underdog. He's a slight underdog. It's an even fight. Minus 185. Okay, decent sized. Bolaji Oki, underdog. I'm going Salvador. I'm going for the favorite. Guys, smash the likes, baby. Let's run these fucking likes up. First fight of the night. Contender series fight companion. The content don't stop. Gary Copeland's arms just keep fucking getting larger, man. I don't think he can even fit an XL shirt anymore. Parlayed Salvador with all dogs, degenerate. Four bets. You're a menace to society, zero to 100. Thank you for the $2 dono, bro, and good luck, man. Good luck being the underdog sniper tonight, my friend. Let's go. Zero to 100. Thanks, bro. Fight is on. We're at 450, 449, 448, 447, 446, 445, and Oki landed a huge right hand. Oki's confidently walking forward on Salvador. Salvador rips a low kick as Oki ripped a high kick, but a good block there by uh, Salvador. Oki's a fucking menace, man. Coming out explosive. Another good straight punch gets through for Oki. There's a nice left hand by Salvador. Front kick by Salvador, too. Oki's really athletic and hits hard, but I think as we get past the first round, round and a half, he slows a bit. Oki faint in some body straights, too. Good low kick there by Salvador. There's a left hand that snuck through for Salvador. Oki with a beautiful low kick there. Holy shit. This fight is heating up right away. Oki gets Salvador to his back. Oki lets him up and is ripping some good punches. Oki's hands looking crispy, bro. Oki's landing so many punches. He looks like lightning speed. I'm impressed by Oki at the moment. Good low kick there by Salvador. 
If I if Salvador can survive, man, that's my big question. Because right now Oki's ripping him with shots, and he hits hard. Salvador can't box with him. Three thirteen, three twelve, three eleven, three ten. Left hand by Salvador. Look for a jump kick too. Doesn't land it. Oki moves away from him. Nice low kick by Oki. Salvador comes with a low kick. Way more thud on the strikes of Oki, though. Like, you hear everything he's landing. Salvador's touching. Oki's cracking. Oki's explosive. Holy shit. Hey, so far, he's definitely winning the striking exchanges. There's a jab by Oki. Salvador rips a low kick. Now the pace is starting to even out a bit. This favors Salvador. The more explosive and fast-paced Oki is, the more trouble Salvador has. There's a beautiful right, nasty body hook by Oki. Salvador's in trouble. Salvador's getting ripped up against the cage. Oki's all over him. Oki lands a body punch. Oki just beat the shit out of him. He dropped him and TKO'd him. This guy's fucking scary. This guy's fucking sick. I like this guy, man. Oh, my gosh. Bolaji Oki, 0 to 100. Thank you for the $2. It seems like that bet is now dead. Holy shit. Bolaji Oki is that guy. What the fuck? What the fuck? Thank you, 0 to 100 for the 2 bucks. Oh, oh my gosh. Oki, Oki. They thought Salvador was that guy. I mean, me included. Everybody thought that. That's crazy as hell. Oki's a beast. Oki's a fucking beast. Holy shit. L listen, he might not have the tank, but he'll knock you the fuck out. He just took out a pro fucking kickboxer Muay Thai fighter. Oki's intense, too. Well, I knew it. I said to myself yesterday, should I just be a conspiracy theorist type? Superstitious, maybe is the better word. And just pick the underdog in every first fight on the Contender Series card. Well, if I would have went with that strategy, it would have fucking worked. Good shit if you had Oki. Wow. 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 I got a fucking mid-level parlay with um, Peterson and um, fucking Prates. Degenerate. I think this definitely means U3 is going to win, though. Peterson versus Cole. As mean as fuck. Yeah, I know I got the wrong pick there. All good. It's part of the game, bro. Guys, we're at 30 likes. Let's run it up to 50, man. Let's get 50 likes up in here. Don't bet against a Belgium. You're right. This guy's crazy. This guy's a menace. Bolaji Oki, welcome to the fucking UFC. Bro, you got to distrust in the first dog of the night. Cole has no chance, I agree. I mean, I knew Oki had some abilities, but I'm more than impressed with the fact he knocked out a high-level kickboxer.
Balagioki. I like this guy. I like Balagioki. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fucking fan. This guy's a fucking pit bull. Are you fucking kidding me? Peterson's a minus 400 favorite. This guy's good, man. Smart, too. Look at the way he's moving. Look at this guy. Wow. Look at this guy's fucking abilities. He's a fucking beast. This guy's a beast. I'm a fan. I'm a fan right away. How many guys do we become fans of from Contender Series? It's constant. My grandfather lived in Belgium, actually, for a while. So I feel like, you know, I have some connection to this guy right here. This guy's good, man. This guy's good. Yeah, a guy who knows how to rip to the body is dangerous as fuck. This guy's good. I like this guy. I'm a fan. Bellagioki, you got me as a fan. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. The guy's a beast. Balagioki. ESPN Plus is where you watch the Contender Series. Holy shit. I'll probably go four and one. I'm hoping so. Holy shit. Chandler Cole ain't winning here. No fucking way. No way he's beating Thomas Peterson up. Salvador was way too slow. I like Peterson, bro. He fought Wall, though. Dude, I like the Minnesota natives, bro. Cole Conrad type shit. This guy's a good wrestler, man. You think Dana White's contender series is unpredictable? Hey, listen. You give up that shot. Dude, I like Peterson by a long. It's not even close. Yanni the Greek. I mean, he's up right now. He won't stay up. I'm on the line of Chandler Cole. He's getting a knockout. Nah. Listen, Chandler Cole, tough kid, but he ain't winning this. Dana wasn't happy in Oki 1 because, yeah, they thought Salvador was next up. But listen, Oki's that motherfucker. I don't know if Gon's a high-confident pick.
Chandler Cole, man, that was that spinning fucking spinning wheel click. Holy shit. Damn, son. Chandler Cole is back. Dude, he's French, but come on. I weigh 250 pounds of muscle, not 250 fat. Peterson versus Cole. Dude, he's a chubby boy. I think last week, contender series, three and two. Uh, live stats or MMA fight center. No, Dana's going to give Oki a contract. It's just people felt like he looked disappointed to see that uh, Salvador didn't pull it off. You're scared? Dude, I really think Peterson's a beast of a wrestler. I see him landing takedowns. But Chandler Cole, he has one way to win, and that's an emphatic knockout early. Spinning wheel kick, jump knee. Superman punch, big overhand. Dude, Oki was a great call, man. If you if you picked Oki, congrats. But a lot of people thought Oki would win. He was the people's pick on uh Tapology though. The Rocky Martinez treatment, what does that mean? Like Roman Rocky Martinez from boxing? Let's go. Let's go. The Chunky Boy, listen, he's got some flop on him. He was in the Goonies, bro. Chunk is here now, bro. Grew his beard out and got tatted up. Dude, this guy's a bred wrestler. I think Cole's got a deceptively good gas tank, but Peterson's wrestling is too good. Look at those ears, man. Yeah, Oki's definitely easy to promote. Oh, I know who you're saying. Roki Martinez. Okay. I mean, it might look like that. Oki's awesome. It's an ugly line. Minus 400 sucks, but I really feel like he's going to win. I'm going Kuamba. You love to see those ears until they pop. Listen, Minnesota's got some good fucking wrestlers. Caitlin Young, women's MMA legend. Bring me the fucking five. 79%, 80% on Peterson. Guys, we're two likes away from 50, so make sure you smash the like. It's going to be an interesting fight. Bro, I, I think that Peterson's going to take him down and work his ass. Let's get it. Southpaw stance for Peterson. Colon Orthodox, we're at 452, 451, 450. Nice body kick there by Cole. Holy shit. Good jab there by Peterson. Cole throwing some fast hands, some heavy punches. Four thirty-two. Peterson walking in with Cole and cracking on the feet. Cole throws heavy hooks, man. He's deceptively athletic. Like, I think if you could get 100 pounds off his body weight, even fucking 70 pounds for fuck's sake, he could be an 85er. Peterson on a single. 
Cole defending. Good defense so far. And Peterson gets him down, guys. This is where we thought Peterson would have the edge in the wrestling. Now he's on top, working some ground and pound. Cole trying to dig under the uh, the groin, under the crotch, and create some space, unable to. And now Cole all smothered up against the cage. Peterson kind of chest to chest with him, doing a good job of fighting off the hands. There's an elbow by Peterson. Very weird. It's like open guard position, pressed against the cage, sitting upright with Peterson in you know the top, in the dominant spot. He's throwing some shots and Cole looking to stand. Peterson trying to keep him down. This is a fuckload of wrestling experience with Peterson. Oh, yeah. Peterson looking to pass him out now. Peterson with an elbow on top. Cole trying to fight his way back up, but Peterson is locked on top of him. Cole's embracing the grind on him. Some peppering shots by Peterson. I like the little pepper and ground and pound. Peterson's letting it go. Patient approach by Peterson, though. Pepper and right hand, left. Peterson working some ground and pound. Cole can't get up from here. He's smothered. Peterson throws an elbow. Cole working to get back up, and he does. Cole gets back up to his feet. Peterson just got caught with a big right hand. Knee up the center there by Peterson. Cole on a takedown. Peterson just grabbed the cage. Cole back up. There's a trip by Peterson. He gets it. Beautiful. Beautiful wrestling by Peterson, man. A little step around, as DC said, on the money. Peterson on top. He's peppering some ground and pound now. Some decent left hands. We're at a minute 45. Yeah, he's lasted a while. Peterson with a nasty elbow on top. Oh, another great elbow by Peterson. Cole doesn't like it. He's hurt. Cole's hurt. Cole can't get Peterson off of him. If you're Chandler Cole, I think you got to drop 70 pounds. Get down to 185. Oh, shit. Peterson looking for a key lock. Doesn't get it. Cole's still surviving from the bottom, but Peterson all over him. Another elbow on top by Peterson. Oh, my God. Huge elbow by Peterson. Somehow Cole's still conscious. He's getting ripped. Peterson, heavy, man. Heavy on top. Smothering Cole. Working some ground and pound on him. Oh, stiff elbows. More ground and pound by Peterson. Twenty five seconds. Chandler Cole's still awake, but he's getting ripped apart. Half guard, ground and pound, pepper and shots. Damn, Peterson looks mean on top. Peterson reminds me so much of Cole Conrad. The polar bear, Cole Conrad. Chandler Cole's nose leaking blood. This corner wants him to stay on the outside and just essentially out kickbox him. Contract worthy? I don't know. If he doesn't get a good TKO this round, no. Dude, Peterson's a menace on top. 
If Cole wins, I'll congratulate you for sure. Let's go. Jab from Peterson on the outside. There's a low kick there by Cole. We're at 441, 440, 439, 438, 437, 436, 435. Low kicks by Cole. Peterson backing him up against the cage. Cole can't keep his balance here. Cole looked for a guillotine, but this might put him in a bad position here. Peterson's out of it. He's inside control top, looking like an absolute fucking giant on top of him. If Peterson doesn't finish, he ain't getting a contract. I'm sipping on just uh, Diet Coke, man. Very basic drink. Elbow there by Peterson. He's trying to set up the crucifix. Key lock. Destroys the arm of Cole. Dude, this guy's mean as fuck. Submission win. He's a mean motherfucker. He's getting the contract. He's getting the contract. Come on. Nearly broke his arm. Might have fucking dislocated his shit. This guy's strong as fuck. This guy's mean as hell. Contract. Thanks, guys. Thank you. It's good rebound, right? Guys, we're at 20,716 subscribers. I'm setting a goal. 20,750 is the goal by the end of this stream. And we're, uh, you know, 34 subscribers away from it. So if you haven't subscribed, lock it in and sub and let's get closer to it. Dude, this guy was mean as fuck. Thomas Peterson, dude. Welcome to the fucking uh, UFC, I think. How many people live in the town you live in, chat? Yours is 15,000. <laughs> hit that pen, you'll sub on another account. I'll hit the pen in a sec. Guys, we're at 68 likes. Let's get 70 likes up in here, and I'll give you a little rip skis, man. Thomas Peterson, ladies and gentlemen. Thomas Jefferson. They just called him Thomas Jefferson, bro. They just called him Thomas Jefferson. Did you guys hear that? He'll be in the UFC, man. He'll beat some of these back-end dudes. This guy's a damn good wrestler. I don't think he's ready for John Jones, but I think he'll do all right. He's going to beat a lot of it. Like, dude, does he not beat Chase Sherman? Let's see what he says in this interview. Nah, they won't give him Parker Porter. Maybe they will. Fuck. I don't know why. I just like I, I like the vibe of Peterson. He's an old school. He's a throwback heavyweight. I'm comparing him to Cole Conrad.
His wrestling's real, man. He's dude. Thomas Peterson is going to get a contract. He got a six submission. They said Thomas Jefferson, yeah. It's a nice sub, man. I don't know about him in the top 20, but. He's a true Minnesota man, bro. He's a true Minnesota man, bro. Like that's when I think of Minnesota, I think of him. The big man cry. <laughs> That's go. That's hilarious. I think he can get the contract, man. <clears throat> Let's throw the pole up. I'm going underdog Kuamba. I'll pick him. But I, it is a scary fight. Nah, he don't got the tism, bro. He's just, he's fuck. That's Minnesota, bro. Let's see if Vogel can do it against Kuamba. We'll see. Bro, this guy's good, man. I think that Kuamba's got the goods. Let's see what this kid's got. Dude, Kuamba's the one, guys. I think he's got this shit, man. He's got, I'm telling you, I'm watching him fight, and I guess Dewey Cooper saw it in him a long time ago. He's got some slickness to him that's rare. I think he's going to look really good. I think he's going to knock Vogel out on the feet. I think Kawamba can knock him out. 24, Kawamba. Canadian MMA is dead. That's funny. I think Kawamba's got him, man.
We had no amateur fights. That's crazy as hell. See, let's see. Let's see. It's going good, bro. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go, Kuamba. There's no Canadian champions right now. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out. Or I think Kuamba's chinning him, bro. Kuamba by knockout is the call. Kuamba's going to sleep him. Oliver Aubin Mercier is good. He's a stud. This fight's about to start in a minute. Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Let's go. Zero to 100. You're chasing Fook. Should have done more research. Got off work and did 20 minutes of research on these bumps. Pray for me, bro. 250 to win 147. Vogel, A. Hey, zero to 100. Good luck. To add to your anxiety, I picked Kuamba to win. We'll see, brother. We'll see. Quit huffing in the mic, my boy. What the fuck? What does huffing in the mic even mean? Do I, Am I not supposed to breathe on camera, bro? I got to fucking just hold my breath the whole stream. Thank you for the 5, 0 to 100. Kawamba's a mean motherfucker. Kawamba's got this shit. Hey, thank you, RoboCop. He says, Mike sounds great. JK, hey, you got me, man. I'm glad you still love me. I appreciate it, bro. Love you too. No, it, it's not gotten to me at all, bro. I was just genuinely curious what he meant. Kuamba. Let's go. I think Kawamba's got it. He's calling me a mouth breather. Hey, sometimes, man. Fight is on. They meet right in the center immediately. 456, 455, 454, 453, 452, 451, 450. The Zin pouch is getting to me. That's funny. Kuamba looking light on his feet, moving fast. Left hand by Kuamba lands. Nice left and a right by Kuamba. Stun Vogel. He is fast as fuck. This kid moves like a fucking rare breed. Look at the left and right by Kuamba. Oh my gosh, Kuamba cracked him with a right. Vogel's chin is off the charts. He's got stung with the right hand. Kuamba with the left hook. Nasty body hook. And then Vogel comes with the kick. Vogel looking for a takedown on Kuamba early. Kuamba staying on his feet. Vogel's on him with the pressure against the cage. Kuamba defending well.
heavy attack by Vogel, but Kawamba's defense is solid, man. Vogel trying to hook the leg and trip him. Can't. Kawamba's defense is on point here. They even up chest to chest. Kawamba's got an underhook himself. He's looking to create some space here. And a separation by Kawamba. They're back in striking. High kick by Kawamba. Vogel attacking with another takedown as he kind of caught the kick and pushed Kawamba down, but cannot secure any type of top position. Kawamba circling out. Left and a right by Kawamba. Good body kick there by Vogel. Kawamba comes with a right hand. Vogel with two heavy shots. There's some blood out of uh, Kawamba's right eyebrow, pretty much, area. Good low kick by Vogel. Kawamba caught the kick. High kick there by Kawamba. Vogel on a takedown. Kawamba defends. That was a good high kick by Kawamba. It landed. The hips of Kawamba are on point. Stops the Vogel takedown. It's a scrap, man. It's an absolute fucking scrap right now. Good low kick by Vogel. Kawamba circling out. Hook is off from the outside by Vogel. Oh, right hand by Vogel, Lance. Nice right overhand. Kawamba with a nasty body kick. Vogel trying to put pressure on Kawamba against the cage. Kawamba circling left. Big punches by both. Vogel actually landed a really left, really clean left. Reaching left by Vogel. A high kick there by Vogel. Vogel's putting a pace on Kawamba. He's starting to crack. DC is talking about a momentum shift, and I understand that. I see it. Left and a right by Kawamba. Kawamba on a takedown attempt. Separates after he caught the kick. Nice straight shot by Kawamba. Jab by Kawamba too. Vogel misses with a high kick from the outside. Right hand there by Kawamba on point. Minute 15 left in round one. Good low kick by Vogel. Kawamba lands a right hand. Good check there by Kawamba to the leg. Nasty body rip by Kawamba. And then a good low kick by Vogel. Body right hand by Kawamba too. Vogel's a tough SOB. Good low kick by Vogel. Kawamba comes with a leg kick. Some gamesmanship now by Vogel. He's kind of kind of smack talking him. Good right hand by Vogel lands. Jab by Kawamba. High kick by Vogel's blocked by Kawamba. Leg kick by Vogel on point. Vogel's ripping the legs well, man. 25 seconds left in the round. Front kick by Kawamba, but he slips, and then Vogel's on him with pressure. This is a very good fight. Competitive. My call's been Kawamba KO. Hey, RTTV, thanks for the compliment. Good balance by Kawamba. Close round, good back and forth, absolute fucking scrap. Kawamba does lack head movement a bit, but he's really fast with his strikes. Vogel, more of that dog MMA style, ripping overhands, pressuring with low kicks, threatening with takedowns. He is fucking him up with the kicks. Work the leg off. I agree with the corner. Good cornering for uh, Vogel. I totally agree. I totally agree. I like what they're saying. Vogel looks good, man. Good chin. He got cracked with a right. Absolute real chin. I think I got to give that round to Kuamba by a little bit. But it could definitely go Vogel's way too, though. 
First round, it's tough as fuck to score. Hey, Adam Rice, thank you for the 999. He says, you're a G. Hey, you're a G, bro. Thank you for throwing me 999, bro. I appreciate you supporting the channel, throwing a dono, helping make this thing possible, brother. Thank you, Adam Rice. Low kick by Vogel to spark the round. Left and a right by Kuamba, and he throws a fast high kick that's blocked well by Vogel. Good kick from Vogel on the outside. Nasty body rip there by Kuamba. Light-footed stance by Kuamba. He's circling. 425. Heavy shots being ripped by uh, Kuamba. We're at 415. Elbow from the outside there by Kuamba. High kick by him too. Kwamba's circling away and he's moving quickly, but Vogel is an absolute fucking dog. You agree? You think it was 100% Kwamba round one? I scored it for Kwamba in the first. But I see it as a scrap, though, for sure. Nice left hook by Vogel. Kwamba with a lot of movement. Vogel hunting him down. Vogel looks for a right hand that doesn't land. High kick is off by Vogel. Kwamba circling left and right. Vogel misses with two hooks. Kwamba trying to work a jab. Left and a right by Kwamba. Vogel trying to dip and rip on the inside. Let's see how Kawamba's gas tank holds up, though. He's moving a fuckload. Spinning back fist by Vogel. Blocked mostly, though. But still a nice attempt by him. Jab from the outside by Kawamba. Left hand by him. Vogel trying to walk him down. Good catch of the kick by Kawamba. Vogel throws a front kick. Vogel comes with a high kick that doesn't land. Kwamba digs to the body with a straight, but Vogel comes with a kick of his own. Over one and a half now hits, if you had that. This is uh, now, what, 225 of round two. Vogel lands a spinning back fist, but Kwamba came with a left hook. Absolutely good scrap here. Right hand by Kwamba on the money. Stiff right hand. Switch low kick by Kuamba. Vogel staying light on his feet. Or excuse me, Kuamba staying light on his feet as Vogel tries to chase. Good straight shot to the body there by Kuamba. And he comes with an elbow as well. A minute 50 of round two. Big left hook is way off by Vogel. He reached with it way too much. The jab from the outside by Kuamba. Uppercut sneaks through for Kawamba. Vogel looking to sit inside and throw heavies. But Kawamba doesn't want to just sit and bang. He wants to keep it moving, keep it a kickboxing match. Vogel's right hand is broken, you think? You think Vogel looks like Finch? That's funny. I saw him shake something out. That definitely could be it. Damaged hand. He's keeping it open as well. Reaches with the left. He threw both, though. Minute five. Kawamba catches the kick. Throws some decent punches. Circling away. Left hand by Vogel. Kawamba circles out, though. Kwamba's going to end up not getting a contract with this performance, though. Maybe because he's a dog, they'll give it to him, though. Good body kick by Vogel. One-two by Kwamba. There's a late kick by Vogel. Vogel ripping these late kicks, man. Vogel might be winning this round. Like, Kawamba's doing a lot of movement, but I don't know. I don't know. 
I think I give the round to Vogel with the leg kicks. I'll go Vogel in the second. One to one. Winner of this round wins the fight, I'll say. Good shit. It's a damn good fight. They think it's 2 0, man. I'll say winner of this round wins the fight. Winner of this round wins the fight for me. Let's see. Vogel comes out with a low kick early. We got a jab from the outside by Kawamba. He's trying to keep that movement flowing. He's circling away from Vogel. There's some left hands there by Kawamba. Vogel with the high guard and trying to hunt him down. Jab by Kawamba. We're at 440, 439, 438, 437, 436, 435. Kawamba just trying to fucking dance on him. You think Vogel needs a finish? So the scorecards, they could be all over the place, man. Left and a right there by Kuamba. It's mostly blocked, but some force gets through. There's a low kick by Vogel. Kuamba just with a fuckload of movement. Some left hands by Kuamba. It's a left and a right by Kuamba. A jab by him, too. Four minutes. Vogel sneaks a right hand through. High low feints by Vogel as he entered the pocket for a takedown. Can't get it, but he did press Kawamba against the cage. Kawamba circles out. Right hand by Vogel sneaks through. Kawamba circling a lot. Not committing to a lot of strikes here. Good low kick by Vogel. Left hand by Kawamba. Good body hook by Kawamba. Leg kick by Kawamba, but it kind of hit the knee of Vogel. Low kick by Vogel. Kawamba still kind of running from him the whole time here. Jump knee to the body. Vogel trying to hunt him down, but Kawamba is on the fucking pedal. Good punch combinations by Vogel. Kawamba comes with a heavy left hook. Both guys have landed good shots on the feet. Big right hand by Vogel. This is a huge moment. Vogel's close to a takedown. Takedown by Vogel. Takedown by Vogel is huge. These guys ain't getting signed, I don't think. Vogel lands a takedown. He's got one hook in. Vogel obviously going to try to secure a real back position and work towards a rear naked. Dude, Kawamba looks like he's got everything, but I don't know, man. He lacks that dog. That dog in him is the one thing I'm seeing lacking. He'll knock you out with a precise punch, but he's not a bruiser at all. He's got a pretty style. Minute 45. Vogel trying to fully climb the back. Vogel trying to lock that back position up. Looks like he's really got the hooks in now. Body triangle by Vogel.
This is a huge moment. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're going to get a contract. Minute seven, minute six, minute five. Kwamba trying to spin out, but Vogel's locked in on top. Some peppering shots by Vogel here now with the back position. Kind of has Kwamba on a hip, though. So it's keeping him safe from a potential submission. Some peppering shots by Vogel, but there hasn't really been ferocious ground and pound. It's a dominant position. It's going to win him the round. To me, it's going to win him the fight. I'm going to score the fight for uh, Vogel, 29-28. But if I'm the UFC contract, I don't know if I'm giving a contract here. I'm leaning no. I'm leaning no for a contract. You think the fight goes to Kawamba? 3-0 Vogel? I think Vogel by decision. Excuse me. Fuck, man. I'm going to give it to Vogel on the cards. Kawamba lost, bro. Kawamba lost. That's my scorecard. I'm giving it to Vogel. Kuamba's issue, my opinion, I don't think that he has that dog in him. I think he's got the technique. I think he's slick with his striking capabilities. But I'm looking for fucking pit bulls, man. Vogel's got more pit bull in him. I don't think he's as skilled at all on the feet. But what I think gave it away on the feet is the fact that Kuamba, I think he's getting hit. Because he's trying to fight and not get hit. So I'm riding with the side of Vogel for the win. We know how we're scoring it. We know who's getting it. Vogel wins. I picked Kuamba, but I'm not a liar. Mateo Vogel by decision. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Wow! Wow! I thought it was. I thought it went the other way. Holy shit! Holy shit. Kid's a little too young. I think he needs some time. Wow. Listen, I scored the fight for Vogel. I don't know if he's getting a contract. This is tricky. So I, I, I'm not a liar. You guys know, okay? I picked Kuamba. I really thought Vogel had it on the cards. But, hey, I'll take the fucking the win with the dog, but I was accepting uh, an L. Holy shit. What a fucking mystic Matt call. He ran a lot. Zero to 100. I'm sorry that it didn't go your way, brother. I thought they scored it for him, man. I thought they had Vogel winning. Zero to 100. Thank you for the $2, bro. And I'm sorry you, you took an L here. Ended up being a great pick. Holy shit. Kuomba's only 24. He's so young. He's such a young dude. This is crazy, though. What a fucking sport, huh? Hey, Ray Torres, he says, tailed you, AJ. 
Let's go, baby. I'm glad you jumped on the dog. I'm glad that we got the decision, bro. Holy shit. W City, I'm throwing the poll up. Guys, we're at 92 likes. Let's get 100 likes up in here, guys. Run the likes up. Nah, I think uh I think use three. I think use three wins. Fucking wow, what a night. What a night. The underdog hits. Use three. I think that Belgori wins. I do. I, I believe that. I believe that for sure. One of my best predictions so far that last fight, it worked out, right? What's Yanni the Greek doing? Oh, shit. Please pick Tulio, Johnny. Yo, good shit, Hype MMA. Good shit. I'm glad that I convinced you a bit. I'm glad you're getting that plus money, homie. Oh, shit. Gianni picked you three. Should we be shitting our fucking pants now? The striking background. I like Yanni though. I, I'm not. I'm not trying to shit on him. He's funny to me. Minus 120, 125. Sharp money. Sharp money. This fight's very competitive. I think we're gonna get a win for you three, Balgari. Dude, he's got his teeth fucking. He got veneers, dude. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yostri. Yostri, Belgori. Yostri. Aframa shoot the box in Brazil. Oui. Oui. Bro, there's some really good guys at his gym, but I said, bro, they're small. They're lightweights. This is a middleweight. I got used three. Let's see what used three can do. If there's one weight class that kickboxing takes over, it's middleweight. You think Vogel should have won? I, I, I scored for him, but it is what it is. Um, you think Dana better give him a contract? I don't think he will. Nine underdogs, eight favorites this year on contenders. If you're taking favorites, you're an amateur. Aaron, I disagree. I think that you pick the fights based upon who you think is going to win. And sometimes the underdog is uh, the A1 call. 
sometimes you guys see that UFC five is supposed to be coming out on uh, October uh, 27th on the PS five. I got to fucking buy a PS five, bro. Holy shit. U3. Yeah, the week two call, yeah. All right, zero to 100. Holy shit. 500 on U3. If I lose, I'll stay away from Contender Series. Good luck, bro. I hope you win. Holy shit, zero to 100. You're a menace, bro. You're trying to come up for the night. I think U3 does win. I think he does. I believe it. You tailed that and cashed heavy. Good shit, bro. I'm glad. I'm happy to hear it, man. I'm happy to fucking hear it. Guys, we're at 102 likes with over 200 people watching. Let's get 110 likes in here, at least a nice number. PS5 is like 400 bucks for the one that doesn't do discs, the one that's just digital. So I was thinking about just getting that one. I'm like, bro, I don't buy discs anymore. Dude, he's from the Netherlands, though. That's why he speaks better English. Let's see what Tulio can do. I'm excited to find out. Yeah, good luck to our boy. Zero to 100 has got balls and a half. I'm a like slut. I am, dude. Yeah, 400 is fair. Shoot the box. I don't know anything about the VR, but that's cool, bro. Hey, Sam Seven, five dollars. Thank you for the donor, homie. You're a gem. You're a gem, bro. You're a gem. You love the PS5? I for, for UFC, I'll get it, bro. Just for that game. It's the only game I'm interested in playing. I've played every fucking one of the UFC games. Since fucking sudden impact. I didn't play tap out though. Because that one was for only Xbox growing up. So yeah. I'm going to have to hop on it. U3. Glover Teixeira with the big beard. Some absolute savages. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Would I record UFC gameplay? I don't know. Maybe. I don't hate the idea. Zero to 100. He says, stressing. Nah, still up on the bookie. Free dollars for me. Zero to 100 ain't no joke. Alex Pereira in the crowd looking badass. He looks like a badass. Hey, bro, get that free money. Let's go. Let's go. You three got that reach, man. 79 to 74 and a half. I'm picking you three, Belgari. I got to run some UFC fights. I definitely would. 
Uh, contender series bets are on bet online. Fight is on 455, 454, 453, 452, 451, 450. Use three. Stance switch for use three. It's a low kick by U3 as Tulio looked for a body straight. Good low kick by Tulio. Leg kick misses for Tulio. Belgari throws a low kick. Tulio's looking for a takedown. Belgari fighting it against the cage well. Tulio trying to lock the body up. But Belgari's doing a pretty good job of fighting the takedown. Tulio's strong and close with his clinch work, man. Tulio's tough, man. Tulio's strong inside. It's that shoot that box. Some peppering shots to the body by Belgari. Throw attempt by Tulio. Belgari stays upright. Tulio's looking to trip him. Belgari's defending him. Yusri's still on his feet. He's fighting the hands. He's fighting the hands well. He separates the grip. Tulio's mean and close, though. He sticks to him like fucking glue. Usually he's fighting his ass off to try to create space, but Tulio's stuck on him. Close to a throw by Tulio, but U3 defends it. U3 actually switches position and has Tulio backed up against the cage. And Belgari separates. Belgari separates. Jab to the body by Belgari. Tulio can't get him to the ground now. There's a low kick there by Tulio. Belgari looks for a jab. Tulio with a big right hand. Spin kick to the body by Tulio. Holy shit. I got to say, Tulio's a pretty uh, talented striker in his own right, man. His Muay Thai is good. He's landing shots. Belgari circles out. U3 with a low kick. Tulio on him with a bit of pressure, but still a lot of fighting right in the center. Tulio kind of getting caught a bit on the outside. U3 with a good leg kick. Knee there by U3. Right to the body. Tulio on the back position. Belgari defends it quickly and separates from a potential disaster situation. Good straight to the body by Belgari. Kick is off from the outside by Tulio. Oh, okay. A little bit of a scary kick there attempted by uh, Belgari. Doesn't land it though. Question mark kick attempt. One twenty-five of the jab by Belgari. Kick from the outside by Belgari. Good jab by him too. Straight shot by Belgari. Threatens with a little bit of a knee. Doesn't throw it. It's a leg kick by Tulio, and then he clinches up Belgori. But Tulio's unable to get the hands clasped together. Oh, Tulio's looking for a throw. Belgari stays up, though. His height keeps him upright. Tulio's all over him, shooting hard for these takedowns. But Belgari's takedown defense is solid. And switch of the position. Now, Yusri is actually pressing uh, Tulio against the cage. Tulio, with a little bit of a throw attempt, ends up in the uh, sprawl position on top of Belgari. It was a beautiful attempt of a throw with a whizzer by Belgari. It was incredible. Tulio working a guillotine, and Belgari's out of it. Very good defense there by Belgari. Big moment for Tulio, though. 
Nice hook there by Tulio. Right hand by Tulio and a left. Tulio looks confident as hell on the feet. Tricky round to score. I don't know. I'll say 10-9 Belgari, but it's close. Tulio's giving him trouble on the feet, man. Good shit. This is a good fight. That knee was beautiful right to the body. You gave that round to Tulio. I respect it. I think it's close. Ooh. Round two. You have money on you, Sri? Holy shit. I like this fight, man. We're at 437, 436, 435. Big high kick attempted from the outside by Yusri. 1-2 is off from range by Yusri. He rips a nice low kick. Tulio's on him with a bit of patient pressure. There's a leg kick by Tulio. Belgari with a huge right hand. Yusri landed a dynamite right. Tulio's chin, you know, still alive there, but he felt that shot. Belgari with a straight right. Tulio misses with a big overhand. Interesting scissor sweep attempt there by uh, Tulio. Some real kung fu shit with that. That's some uh, karate movie stuff. Leg kick there by Belgari. Good low kick by Belgari too as Tulio throws a jab to the body. Uppercut and a left misses for Tulio. Belgari with a question mark. Attempt to. It was kind of lazy. There's a right hand by Belgari that lands as Tulio entered the pocket. Tulio just cracked him with a right and a left. Belgari got cracked. His mouthpiece went out too. Holy shit. Tulio with a good three punch combination. Belgari switches the position and then backs Tulio up against the cage. That mouthpiece went out. I don't know if the referee noticed. Holy shit. Belgari pressing Tulio. Tulio looking for a wizard throw. Unable to do it. Belgari separates from the clinch. Holy shit. Good low kick there by Belgari. There's a leg kick by Tulio and then a jab by Belgari. Tulio comes with a big left hand that misses. Tulio's a fucking pit bull on the feet. 230. We're at the over one and a half. Right overhand by Belgari. Leg kick is off from Tulio. Leg kick by Belgari on the outside with a jab to the body. Some straights there by Belgari down the line. There's a jab by Belgari. Another jab by him. Tulio misses with the hook. Belgari stings him with a left hook. And then a spinning body kick by Tulio. Right hand by Belgari. Tulio's all over Belgari against the cage. Belgari's surviving, though, and switches the position up. Yusri looks for a trip inside. Unable to get Pepper and shot there by Belgari. Yusri looking for a trip. Tulio switches position. Tulio now puts Belgari backed up against the cage. We're at a minute 25 now. There's a shot to the body by Tulio. 
We got a minute 15 with Belgari pressing Tulio up. They separate from the clinch. We got a minute left. Belgari with the jab. Deep kick to the body by Belgari from the outside. Front kick by Tulio. Belgari, man, he keeps that mouth open. Left hand by Tulio on the money. Belgari with the low kick. 40 seconds remains. Tulio chases for a body hook that misses. 30 seconds left. Teep kick by Belgari from the outside. Switch high kick by Belgari. There's a knee by him, though. Tulio came with a jab. Leg kick by Belgari. Tulio misses with a wide hook. Superman punch by Tulio. Tulio 10-9. Tulio 10-9. Let's go, baby. Guys, if you haven't yet, help me reach my subscriber goal. We're currently sitting at 20,719. Goal is 20,750. So what is that? Uh, let me do the fucking math real quick. 31 subscribers away from the goal. If you're watching for the first time, if you don't know, and I got content every day. Well, now you know. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, man. Let's smash that fucking subscriber goal. We've been hitting them on all the live streams, so let's get it. I got Tulio winning the second round. I do think it's 1-1. I do think it's 1-1. My picks definitely don't suck. I don't know what you're talking about. Bump, 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 bump. Tulio, it's like people are sh I, I see somebody talking smack about picking Belgari, right? Dude, it's not like Tulio is fucking blowing him out of the water. It's a you know fairly competitive fight. Between two prospects on the contender series, dude. Someone wins, someone fucking loses. Third round, baby. Third round, baby. They touch gloves and it's on. Belgari for a high-level kickboxer is not that slick, man. He's kind of like loopy with the shots. He's kind of loose. He's too loose. Almost reminds me of like a fucking... I don't know, like a pool fucking noodle. We're at 441, 440, 439, 438. Big hook thrown by Tulio. Doesn't land. Tulio stops the jab to the body. Oh, right hand by Tulio. Hurt Belgari. Tulio's all over him like a fucking Rottweiler out here. Another right hand there by Tulio. Belgari circling away. Oh, big left by Tulio. Belgari trying to stay on his feet, but he's gassing. Tulio presses him up against the cage. Belgari's got no gas left. Three fifty-five. There's some knees to the legs there by Tulio. You think Tulio's the future champ? Fuck no. Belgari trying to dig the underhooks. He's getting pressed up against the cage. Minute 30 remains. Throw attempt and misses for Tulio. He's just wearing on Belgari against the cage. Body lock and pressure by Tulio. Used to be trying to dig this fucking underhook. Tulio with some knees to the legs. He's just holding up Belgari against the cage. There's the trip by Tulio. He ends up on top. This should be game, set, match here. If Tulio can get a finish, he might get a UFC contract. If not, fuck no. Ustery's done. Usury's done.
I don't know if either one of these guys are getting a contract. I'm leaning no. Ogori trains with Glover and Alex Pereira, but he's just a kickboxer, man. And he's not a super scary, explosive one either. Tulio's Muay Thai is working. Tulio gets a decision, but he's not going to get the contract. Two minutes. Belgari can't get out of it. He's pinned. Belgari just ain't the one, man. Tulio's on very good pressure, knocking him in position, shoulder pressure, pepper and strikes, but nothing he's doing is jumping off the fucking page. Maybe he gets a contract, but I don't know. Pepper and shot attempted there by Tulio on top. Belgari has more neck than fighting skills. I said something about that on the way in recap show. Tulio's got this fight. Belgari ain't it. I don't think they'll rob Tulio. He definitely got the second and third. I think Protez is going to win for sure. Zero to 100. Dana White's contender series is a shit show. No ne research needed. Pick dogs. It's just a fucking wild fucking ride every single time. Hey, I need the main event. I need the main event. I need Protez. That's going to be my fucking call. Tulio's finishing on top, and he's getting a, deci a decision, bro. My mindset is this. On the card, the high confidence, the minus 400 favorite in Protez, Tulio got the fight. I am not impressed by your performance. Hey, Jay, if you don't follow the channel consistently, and then you come in with delusional takes, when if you look at the past few cards and even an underdog pick on this night, like if you're expecting contender series always to be clean sweeps, it's delusion, bro. It's delusion. It's prospect fights. Tulio doesn't deserve a contract. I feel like he's not going to get it. I feel bad for my guy 0 to 100 too. I'm not impressed. I'm not signing him. I'm not signing him, dude. No sign. No sign. No sign for me on contender. This is the one dud of the Contender Series cards that's bound to happen every season. Hey, Farad, Farad, Farhad, who's always talking shit in the chat. You look like a fucking jerk-off. How about that? Very average fighter. It's got to be to the side of fucking Tulio. Yeah, Tulio, 100% one. Tulio, 100%. Good performance. I knew when Yanni picked uh, Belgari, we were in trouble, man. He cursed them. Prates is heavily favored, man. Bump, 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 bump. bump. Bump, 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 bump. Everyone should jerk off. That's homoerotic, man. I always thought you were like that, Farad. <laughs> Belgari just ain't the one, man.
My rankings for the contracts, Peterson, the fucking Zulu. And I think Prates is going to cap it off. Let's go. You never not put money on shoot the box. Respect. Shoot the box got dog. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. Marco Tulio's decent, but come on. As we move into the UFC and middleweight, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed, bro. Not impressed by your performance. Bro, you going Mitch by KO, Pat? Hey. I'm going Prates by KO. If Ramirez wins, you'll jerk off. I think that's true. I think that's what you should do. Yeah, I don't know. Belgari, man, he's just not very athletic. He's kind of stiff as fuck. He's a big letdown. I think the UFC is disappointed he didn't win. Brazil, you're confident you can go the distance with him? I'll tell you this, man. You couldn't, and I respect you and love you living like Larry, but uh, guys at the pro level that even look bad are still whooping ass on average people with quite ease. Let's see. Let's see if Tulio does it. Living like Larry. Listen, I, 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 I think, you know what? Go for it, man. Go for it. I'll support you. Yeah, the game is... Even the guys that you think are shit are so fucking solid overall, dude. Like, U3 is 27 and 7 in kickboxing, dude. If he's sparring with people in the fucking gym that aren't near that level, he, I guarantee you he looks a lot better. Julio just, he was tough. He was dangerous. Julio, maybe he gets it. We'll see. No, it's not bad for the sport. It's a, it happens sometimes. Bro, I've been watching the sport for a very long time, and I'll tell you something. Nothing's changed. There's still fucking dud fights here and there. I'm telling you, man. It's just part of the sport, bro. Come on. It's always going to happen. No, DC is not handing out the contracts. Let's hear what he says. Hey, Tiratu Paco, Peterson, Tulio, Protest, three leg. Let's go. Right in Protest to be up two units today. Also, I got a big bet on Spivak a month ago at plus 160. Keen for the weekend. It's going to be an amazing weekend, bro. Tiratu Paco, my guy. Thank you for the $5, bro. Let's fucking get it. I got Protest, man. I think Peterson and Balaji. That's it. My guy. Thank you, Tiratu. Didi Mello. I can't understand what you're saying, brother. You got to translate it to English. Yep. DC speaking truth. Peterson gets it, though. Peterson and Balaji, that's it. Bro, I say it all the time. Bet light on contender series. Be intelligent with it. You got prospects.
Yeah. Peterson gets it. Let's see. Let's get to this fucking main event. Oki, he's the type of guy to tell your casual friends about. Yeah, he does have that vibe. I'll be telling uh, people, yeah, this guy in Contender, bro, cracks like nothing else. He's a bad motherfucker. Hey, it's main event time, baby. Let's go. Ramirez is at 31%. Protez, about 70 now. Dude, he's crying because he won the biggest fight of his life, and he's probably going to be a UFC fighter, man. It's a dream. Hey, shoot that box, guys. Bring the fire. It's fact. Prates reminds me of, like, Jose Aldo, Anderson Silva, and Charles Oliveira all just blended together, you know? This guy's going to win. Prates has got something special, man. Prates has got something here. Let's go. This guy can fight, bro. BJJ Black Belt, 100 fights, K1 Muay Thai. Are you serious? Speaks English? This is going to be sick. Mitch Ramirez is a tough SOB. Alex's guy didn't look good, Eben. You're right. Wow, Ramirez was a heroin addict. Wow. Wow, it's an interesting story for Ramirez, man. Hey, Evan, I see you, bro. You're an OG of OGs, bro. Hell yeah, good to have you. He did, yeah, he did some time in jail. That's crazy, bro. No, Alex's guy looked very wobbly on the feet. He didn't look great for a guy with the kickboxing accolades. Definitely not. Hey, the main event's going to bring fire. Damn, bro. May the best man win. Two good fucking chaps trying to fucking chase the dream. I think that Ramirez eventually gets to the UFC, but I think that this is just a problem, child. The prison experience is intense. Yanni's destined to hit, so he just picked Prades. He, he's going to get it.
Let's see. Oki's definitely getting a contract, yeah. I think Prates by KO is the money call. That's what I see. It's going to be good shit. I'm excited. This is going to be good shit, guys. Let's fucking get it. Main event of the evening, guys. We're at 122 likes. Let's get 130 likes up in here for the main event. So smash that like button. I'll do a main event rip skis. I'll get a little tipsy. You know what I'm saying? Let's bring the fucking fire for the end. Ex drug addict. That's crazy, dude. I think Protest is going to be too fast for him. Mitch will eventually get to the UFC, though. Just not yet. Just not yet. Cynthia Calvillo, what script is she reading off of? Holy shit, that was robotic. My goodness. Dogs are three and one tonight. I think it's time for a uh, favorite. He'll be too slow for him, but he eventually Ramirez is UFC level. Eventually. Matt Brown, too. Yeah, there's been some savages that were. Guys, we're at 127 likes, dude. We're three likes away from 130. Let's get that like button. Smashes. Smash it. Yeah, hats off to him. I agree, David. Hey, what's up, Mr. Blanco? Prates for the win, but no, he hasn't fought yet. You like Ramirez for the W? It's two savages. Two fucking savages. When they climb the ring, it's like the old gladiators climbing to fight to the death. Dude, this is the modern day gladiators, bro. That's what combat sports brings. All right, let's go, baby. Guys, Ramirez is a tough dude. I like the kid. But Prates has way more fights. He's the same age. He's been training longer. And he's going to be dangerous as fuck. He's getting a UFC contract. It's Prates for the win. Fight is on. Let's get it. Max Blanco. Let's go Prates. I'm on the same side, brother. Thank you for the $2, my friend. Let's fucking go. Prates for the W to win the parlay. 445, 444, 443, 442, 441, 440. Ramirez trying to chase him down here. Good low kick there by Ramirez. Prates looks to attack the leg, doesn't. Leg kick by Ramirez. Prates walking him down here. Good low kick by Prates. Ramirez looked to close the gap. Leg kick on the outside by Ramirez. Nasty leg kick by Prates. Wobbles the fucking whole stance of Ramirez. Prates can crack with these fucking kicks, man. Some left hands, rights over the top by Ramirez. Prates circles away. Prates with a fast body kick from the outside. Dude, Prates will break your arm with the snap on his kicks. Holy shit. Nasty body kick by Prates. Ramirez comes with a hard right. Ramirez on a takedown. Puts Prates on his back. Ramirez is tough, man. Holy shit. Prates talking to him from the bottom. Prates looking to get towards the cage. Side control position for Ramirez. Beautiful takedown by Ramirez. Prates talking some shit, though. He's saying something. He's looking to stand up against the cage. Ramirez trying to hold the hands, flatten them out. Prates trying to create space here. Ramirez with that heavy pressure. 
has Prates down, unable to land any damage from top so far, but still a secure top position now for a bit. Butterfly guard attempted here <clears throat> for Prates, but he's pressed up against the cage. Prates with a sweep. Beautiful work. Ramirez on that takedown again. Prates is up to his feet. Prates throws another high kick. Knee to the body by Prates. Tie clinch for him. Ramirez ripping punches inside. They're talking shit to one another. I like it. Ramirez is a tough fighter, man. Jab from the outside from Prates. Oh, nice left hand for Prates lands on the money. Good chin with Ramirez, though. Teep kick to the body by Prates. Ramirez with a leg kick. Another good leg kick by Ramirez, but Prates is a dangerous man. Left hand and a knee by Prates. There's a jab by Prates. Ramirez for a big right hand and snuck a shot through the guard on the money. Good fight. Jab by Prades. There's a left hand by Prades. Ramirez with a low kick. Prades with a stiff left. Dude, Ramirez is throwing heat right back to Prades. Holy shit. High kick there by Prades. Ramirez lands a left hook, but he got wobbled a bit. Prades felt the shot, though. Ramirez is still... Stinging him. He's still throwing shit back. Prates stung him with that head kick. There's a nasty left hand by Prates and a right hook too. The chin of Ramirez is impressive though. He's been stung up tonight. Kid has heart. Good body kick by Prates. Left hand by him. Uppercut by Prates. Knee to the body by Prates. Ramirez throwing some hooks. But Prates is sniping him. Holy shit. Protest is winning the round. Ramirez is still a fucking dog, though. Absolute dog. I'll tell you this. I, I believe Ramirez, even if he doesn't get through Protest here, he's going to get to the UFC at some point. That's a 10-9 Protest. Good fucking shit. Good fucking shit. Holy hell. Wow. Prates is so relaxed, man. His tooth chipped a little bit. I thought I saw a tooth fly out. It's a 10-9 Prates. He's an absolute stud. I agree with my guy, Emch. But I think Ramirez is impressive too. Ramirez is a fucking tough kid. I would like to see him get another contender series shot at some point. I just think he's taken on a hybrid Brazilian that has a ton of potential. Round two. Round two, it's on. 4.55. Left hand there by Prates as Ramirez looks to enter. Seemed like it stunned him a little bit. There's a body kick by Ramirez. Leg kick there by Prates. There's a stiff left by Prates. Leg kick by Ramirez. Prates with a jab. Nasty leg kick by Prates. Ramirez looking to hunt him down. Jab by Prates. Ramirez fails a takedown. Front kick by Ramirez. There's a stiff jab by Prates. There's a jab by Prates again. Nasty body kick 
Big straight. Protez is landing. He's starting to find his flow now. Big stiff left. Drops Ramirez. The ref stops the fight. Ramirez got stung. This kid's good, man. This kid's good. Hey, if I need another mod, I'll let you know Saturday, Bernie. Let's go. He's getting a contract. This guy's good as fuck. This guy's good as fuck, bro. Hey, the parlay hits. Fuck it. The parlay comes through. The parlay hits. The lock parlay was Prates with fucking um, Peterson. And it happened. Let's go. He looks like a future top 15. All right. So my contracts are Prates, Oki, Peterson. Those are my three prospects I'm signing. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Ramirez will be back, though. This is just too big of a jump in competition for uh, Ramirez. Prates is that guy. This kid's good. He's getting in the UFC. Hey, thank you, Bucko. I appreciate you, man. Fighting nerds. Let's go. The fighting nerds are in. We're going three UFC contracts, guys. Protez is nasty. Fact. Let's see. Hey, I'm hanging out for the contract awards, you know. Boom. Ramirez is like, fuck. He was rocked as shit. He would have got finished off with vicious ground and pound if Protez wasn't a gem. Look at this guy. This ah, stiff, beautiful, precise. Welcome to the UFC. Welcome to the UFC, Protez. Let's see what he says to Laura. Welcome to the UFC. Welcome to the UFC. And I can't wait to watch you fight again. Good shit. Hey, Brett Williams, my guy. Thank you for the $5 dono, my friend. First time to donate, but a long time listener. Fuck yeah. I appreciate the hustle, AJ. You are young. You are wise for your young ass age and possibly related to Robert De Niro. Brett Williams, you're a gem. That means a lot to me. I appreciate the De Niro comparison. I appreciate your five. And I definitely appreciate your support on the channel, bro. I'm glad you're a long time listener. I'm glad you're enjoying the content. It's every single day, bro. Every day, my guy. Early stoppage. Get out of here, Steel C. Thank you, Brett Williams. Really. Thank you, brother. It's a beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. Hey, my guy, Tiratu Paku. Fucking cash. Thanks for the pick, AJ. See you Saturday. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Thank you for the $10, bro. I'm glad you fucking cashed. Fuck yeah, Tira Tupaku. Thank you for the 10, bro. I'm definitely ready to Harvey Kittle. Who's that, bro? I never even heard of that before. This guy especially speaks English. I look like your grandmother. Thank you, bro. I guarantee you she's a real beautiful woman. She's got a nice, pretty face similar to mine. That's That means a lot to me, actually.
Oki plus 700 if you had him the first. Nobody had it. These props are delusional. Nobody's fucking playing. Nobody's playing that shit. Take my sister to prom. She she cute. She cute. He wasn't out, but he didn't get right back up. Hey, thank you, Hawk. I'm glad that I'm one of the few that can pull off the hat. I appreciate that. Hey, Sam Sevens, my guy. Thank you, Sam Sevens. You're a gem. You're a gem. You're a gem, bro. You're an absolute gem. Thank you for the 10, Sam Sevens. Who trolled you, Brett Williams? Who trolled you? Hey, one and done. I'm glad you're giving my channel a try. Hopefully I won you over and you end up subscribing because I got daily content and live streams, man. So you don't want to miss a thing on the channel. Let's run that sub count up, man. I'll check the subs at the end. I wanted 20,750. I think I was at 20,721. He's in. He's in. Oki's in. Grandma shit. They're shitting on you, man. They're just giving you a hard time, bro. I thought they were talking to me. He's in. Peterson's in the UFC. Throwback heavyweight. I like it. Kawamba, not in the UFC, doesn't get signed. They're going to give it to Tulio, though, but he didn't see it. Tulio doesn't get it. Tulio doesn't get it. Yep, we knew who was getting a contract. The bastard's got no respect. Hey, you don't take it personal, Williams. You got to get used to it. I get trolled all the time. Tulio's not signed. These guys aren't signed. I feel bad for him, but. <laughs> hey, man, it's Finch's personal choice, man. He reminds me of prime young vintage Anderson. I like that comparison. Kuamba and Tulio don't get the contracts. Knudsen is in the UFC with a short notice. I didn't know that. I love the contender series, guys. I love the contender series. It's the best. Not everybody got the contracts, man. We can't make it too easy. Knutson got a contract for a short notice fight, so these guys could be there.
We're in the UFC, man. That's sick. I like these guys, man. I like these guys. Good signings. The right signings. Contracts were given out to Prates, to Oki, and to Peterson. Three contracts. It makes sense what they handed out for contracts. Mateo got knocked out in the first round. Or no, he lost by decision. Excuse me. It, but it was a it was a competitive decision. I scored it for him, but he's not signed. <clears throat> we were all at the gym watching him. That sucks, bro. That would that would be very disappointing. Balagioki UFC interview. Balagioki's good shit. You disappointed Tulio didn't get signed? He had to finish him or at least go for it. Yeah, three and two was my record tonight. And we hit with a dog, so I'm happy. I like the Zulu Warrior. 10 out of 10 nickname. This guy's awesome. Such a good energy to him. Peterson's in the house. He's ready to keep climbing. I like this dude. I think Peterson went for the finish when he could, man. Cole's tough. Good shit for Peterson, man. I'd be pretty mad, too, if my guy lost a controversial decision, bro. Contender Series is the most intense job interview in the world. This guy did it. Carlos Prates interview is coming up now. Let's see what he says. The final interview of the night. He's just goofy, man. He's a Minnesota man. This guy's good. Protest is good. I'm sorry you went one and four, bro. I'm sorry. New welterweight star. I like this guy. <laughs> I'm a weapon, son. Let's go, baby.
guys, three and two night hit with the dog. The most confident picks hit. I'm pretty happy, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the live stream. It was a nice two hour Q and a, not, it wasn't a Q and a two hour fight companion on a beautiful Tuesday. I'll see you guys tomorrow for this week's best of MMA bets. There is like a hurricane in the Florida area, but it's not really set up to be hit in my area. So shouldn't have any issues, but obviously I'll keep you guys updated if anything happens. Much love, my people. I appreciate everybody watching. Smash the likes. Run these damn likes up, baby. We should have at least 150 likes. Let's see what we're at. We're at 143 likes, man. Well, hopefully we break into 150. Hey, Adam Renteria. Hey, just want to say thank you for the shows and time preparation. Uh, went 2-0 and with your confident picks. Love you, man. Keep the good work. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm in Florida, man. No Jack and Coke. It was just regular Diet Coke. Have a good one, everybody. I appreciate you all watching. Means a lot. Three and two picks, too. Pretty good picks, man. I'm happy with the number. Three and two solid. Contender Series bringing the heat. Every single Tuesday, nothing better than it, bro. Contender Series is fucking amazing. I love it. I'm looking forward to Saturday because, holy shit, we're in Paris. I'll be live for that card, content all day, all week. Keep it locked in. Much love, people. I'm signing off. Thank you for watching. You guys are an amazing fucking community, and I'm glad to have you all. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace, guys.